perception comes from your state of consciousness and perception becomes behavior and collective behavior is what we call human society so if you follow back from human society all the stuff that goes on you go through perception or you go through behavior you go through perception and then you go through to consciousness so what is driving people is their state of consciousness and so uh, when you go really uh, deep in the rabbit hole you realize that you know you can talk and i do and i've done at great length over the years about networks of manipulation and satanic groups and secret societies to do all that and it needs doing of course it does so we know what's going on but in the end what's driving the secret society networks that i call the global cult that's behind the dystopian agendas is their state of consciousness over the era has of course created enormous amounts of fear and trauma what he called is not going to influence those that it attaches to to make them think about questioning anything about questioning what they're told that's the last thing it wants so people simply stop processing information they become like a software program they just take downloads from statements and and what have you and it becomes their reality those who are awakening and seeing it are awakening and seeing it because of their state of consciousness and people are not seeing it because of their state of consciousness so what is going on here so when i started to realize that um in the early 90s that this global network existed and what its game was i started to ask the question um when did it start and you comfortably go back into the ancient world you go back into ancient egypt into ancient um, babylon and sumer and so on and you see people coming in and going out being born and then dying being born and dying with body dying anyway they play a part in advancing this agenda and expanding it to its global state now then they pass on and then other people come the next generation does and i looked at it and i thought there has to be a organizational force that's spanning this period of in out in out individual contributions to advancing this agenda And then I started to um look around the different cultures and the different religions looking for a common theme for what this force might be and you start to realize that actually although they use different names that they're describing the same force over and over again in in all these different areas so the the Christians talk about Satan and the devil and demons the gnostics uh who were not christians in in that sense they talked about uh, a a a negative force called yaldabaoth uh, and archons which were the christian demons then you you look at the other different cultures like the the jinn of the islamic belief i was in a taxi uh, being driven by a muslim taxi driver from new york once and he asked me he said what do you do i said what do you start talking and i I started talking about these gnostic archons and what the gnostics said they were all about. And he, he said to me, "Well, that's just like the jinn. That's just like the jinn. Yeah. Cuz you see this theme, the different names throw people, but it's the same theme. And basically what all these things are describing, all these different belief systems are describing is a state of consciousness, a very inverted, chaotic what we would call evil consciousness but my definition of evil is the absence of love once once love's gone evil remains but bring in love evil's gone a list of traits which if you have enough of them you are officially designated a psychopath now it's psychopaths super psychopaths actually that are driving the hoax and are driving the dystopia and the fascists globally and the major traits of psychopaths is number 1 lack of empathy 
the inability to put yourself in in the experience of others you're affecting empathy is the failsafe mechanism of human behavior if you don't have empathy there are no limits there are no there's no failsafe uh, mechanism to kick in i can't do this to this person because i can empathize with how it must make them feel no limits satanism is expressions of this critique at, at, at its most extreme lack of compassion is another major trait of psychopaths and so you hear over and over again when you're explaining what's going on you hear they would never do that no no you would never do that they would do it and get off on it and it's understanding the scale of well evil inversion evil inversion of life that we're dealing with to grasp actually that they would do that and they are doing that one of the great traits of psychopaths is they'll lie for as much as necessary to get what they want you look at this globe media coordinated lying on a scale that i don't think we've ever seen before this ability or feeling it's okay to lie by the, by the minute and the hour in terms of the global media to promote the agendas of the psychopaths and then you you come down to the general population um you've got this great number of people who have lost the ability if they ever had it, to process information into a conclusion See what what people in control of their own minds do is they take information and they filter it and process it into a conclusion. What great chunks of the population do today is take the information as a conclusion. So when the governments make a statement or the media say this is what's going on then that is not information to be processed that is a conclusion to be absorbed and you'll see this we see it all the time where um, someone will say i i'll tell you what i think's going on this is my opinion and what comes out of their mouth is the official story almost word for word which they have processed um into the uh, illusion of their own opinion and their own a uh, conclusion now these are these are all traits of witico and how does this work witico is a band of frequency it's a very low dense band of frequency which resonates to the frequencies of fear and all the emotional low vibration emotional uh, the states around fear anxiety depression resentment all these um, low vibrational emotional states every thought and every emotion that we we feel and we we think goes out as a frequency you know fear is a a, a dense low slow frequency when people are in fear and anxiety this feels so heavy today yes because that's what uh, uh, those low slow frequencies do to your energy field when when people feel joy and love this feels so light today yeah because they're fast frequencies and fast wavelengths so therefore they impact upon your field in a completely different way the the point of witico is to draw human consciousness into low vibrational states so that that attachment that assimilation can take place